Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. This is just an FYI. Ubiquity released Unify OS for the Dream Machines 1.11.4 a few hours ago. This has been in beta early access for quite a while. Given what I've seen in the beta, or sorry, early access, uh, I, I'm going to update this as soon as I can. I haven't had a chance to do this. Unfortunately, I have too many people in the network today to start doing an update during normal hours. So first time, first thing tonight when I can kick everybody off, I will do this. I think that I have been experiencing this kernel crash issue on my UDM Pro. Every now and again, I've had some severe flakiness where I, I need to manually intervene to get things working again, which is which has been super annoying. So I, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that this resolves it. Uh, it can't be any worse. Right. One thing to note is that this includes Unify Network 7.0.23, which, looking at the release notes, not a whole lot going on here, but in classic Ubiquity fashion. You have to look through the release notes of the previous versions for 20, 21, and 22 to get the whole story. I've actually been running 7.0.23 for... Uh, quite a while. I don't remember exactly when it came out. I installed earlier versions. I think 22 was when I jumped on board because 20 was kind of, well, I mean, you can look at the change log and there was, you know, so much stuff on here that it was scary. So I, I did not touch it at that point. I think I went to 22 to see if it would re resolve the, um, the weirdness I was having with my UDM Pro. But it, it didn't, and 23 hasn't either. Every now and again, I still have had to intervene manually to get things working again. Uh, that said, 7.0.23 has been a pretty solid release for me. I haven't noticed any significant weirdness be beyond the, the thing that is probably UDM Pro specific. So I, I have no reservations around that. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out about this release is that it, it bumps Surica or Cicada whatever. Up. Oh, Suricata is the thing that gets used to do intrusion prevention and intrusion, intrusion detection on the UDM families. Um, it's nice to see that they're, you know, doing that. Anyway, again, this is just an FYI. I hope you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.